Hi, this is Lynn from Sweet Natured and this is our review of the Veranda Restaurant on board Cunard's Queen Elizabeth. As always, I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who put the video together and this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. So we're at Steakhouse at the Veranda, to give it its proper name. It's long name. It's long name, or just the veranda, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you can see the menu here. You'll notice there's not many prices on it, and that's because it's a speciality restaurant and you pay up front. How much was it again? It was $30 per person. And it's in dollars, isn't it, on it's Cunard? It's in dollars on Cunard. Did we book it before we got on the ship? Was it cheaper to book it on land? I don't think so. I think it was the same price. Oh, OK. But we did get the days that we wanted to get on there. That's true. Now, you will notice there's a couple of different pictures of us here in different outfits. Three different outfits. Yes, because we didn't do a quick change during the courses. No, nope. we actually ended up going here three times on the seven night cruise. <laughs> so without too many spoilers on our review, probably gives you an idea that we quite liked it here. We did like it. And one of the nights it didn't go to plan. <laughs> it didn't. There were, it was a little bit rough. I was feeling a little bit delicate and therefore didn't get to enjoy anything. And I was Elizabeth Swan, and you were Captain Barbossa watching me eat. I was, yes. <laughs> That's a Pirates of the Caribbean reference. It there. is a Pirates of the Caribbean. Good reference. Thanks. It also has the best bread at sea. Oh, my God, that bread. I mean, it, you... It's a perfect mix between bread and a Krispy Kreme donut. I'm not, a, I'm not a bread person, and even I liked it all. Well, while you're looking at the bread... If you could hit that subscribe button, and also if you want to follow us on Instagram or Twitter, we're at Sweet Nature at both of them. And thank you if you've subscribed already. It does make my day when it pops up that we've got another subscriber. You do like that, don't you? I do, so thank you. So if you'd like to make Lindsay's day, please hit that button. <laughs> so you've got a huge range of food in here for a speciality restaurant. It and we does... got to try it all, basically. We, we did get to try a lot of it, not everything. The one that you can see on screen now, that's the uh, seafood platter. Now, there is an upcharge for that of $20, mm -hmm. not per person, just $20. $20 across, yeah. But you add lobster and prawn and crevettes and mussels and scallops, as you can see in some, I think it was Alaskan king crab. Now, that outfit was, like, from the 1920s outfit. That's not what I had to wear in order to go. No, it was... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a requirement to sort of dress like you're in the 20s. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, from D Contessa Cosplay, as I call it. <laughs> no, it, it was a 20s dress-up night. It was, it was. And how good was that cheesecake? That cheesecake was like a meal in itself. I mean, I, like... I'm, I'm seriously <laughs> glad we got that to share. Was it, it wasn't to share, though, was it? I don't, I don't think it was. Hang on, I'm sure someone will correct us and tell us it is meant for two, but... We got it for two, and we didn't finish it. It was so... T it don't look that big on there, but it really was chunky. What's that one? That was the duck that I had on another night. And no bread left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that bread, wow. And you can see there the differences from the first night that we went where we... Sorry, the, the first video part that we had there, um, which wasn't the first night, the sequence, <laughs> where we mainly had seafood. This night on here, we're... we're Going something different, so you had a, a fig and blue cheese. Yes. I had the duck, uh, and then I think we had, I can't remember, maybe it's steak in this one in a second as well. I mean, everything was fabulous. It was, it was all presented well. There was nothing that was even cooked or prepared slightly wrong. The staff were amazing, they really took the care of us. The staff were absolutely fantastic. On the night that you weren't so good, they really looked after you. They did. I, I had a lot of seasickness that day. I wasn't the only person on the ship. No, no. I, it, I, it was very rough. It was. A lot of but people had cancelled. They so. could see I wasn't eating anything, so they brought me some sliced apple uh, and some ginger, which apparently makes you feel better. I can't honestly say that it did, but... At least had something to eat. Oh, me and knives. They present this of saying, they said to you, would you like to select your weapon of choice? <laughs> Which is not a good <laughs> thing to say to me. <laughs> As you try and juggle it. Yeah. Uh, the steak platter in there, that, that's for two to share. Oh, I just but remember you, you that time I spun that knife and caught it. Yeah, it was a one-off fluke. I don't even know how I did it. I amused myself. Now the steak, look Steak's at this. cooked absolutely perfectly. The... When you get this one to share for three, for two, you get for three, three? Yeah, for two of us, <laughs> uh, you got a, a piece of filet mignon, uh, a piece of, I think that was uh, New York strip, 
uh, it could have been so long. And then a rib. And a then rib. a short rib, which, which was... Which really good. Uh, it had, like, a coffee coating on it. Yes, it did, yeah. Now, I'm not a massive coffee fan, but that was really good. Now, is this me... The fries. How good were the fries? Oh, no, 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 no. The rum baba. Now, wow. I would like to apologise in advance, because you're filming this, and you are the ultimate dessert tease here to people watching this. Why? What do I do? So... Without jumping ahead too far, you get to select whether you want a single shot or a double shot. I only went with a single, uh, and that was still strong, of whichever rum you want. They pour it on, there's a, they, they do a whole story. This whole thing here went on for about five minutes, so I didn't put the whole thing in. Is that my souffle I can see down there? No, it's, it's, put, it's put on there, people are going, oh, what's this going to look like? I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Uh, and I was watching this earlier, <laughs> and cut away. <laughs> that, that's not an edit. <laughs> That's you going, okay, I'm done. <laughs> you've got it now. Yeah, you've got it. <laughs> so apologies, next time we're gone, we will film the rum bar. It was so, very good. It, it, yeah. I mean, it won the desserts. I mean, like the best bread, that is the best dessert we've ever had at sea. And I wish yeah. I'd got one, and I will get one again. Yeah, next time we're gone. Mm -hmm. So I tried the lobster cocktail a second time. Actually got to eat it that time, really good. You had the clam chowder. Oh, I love me a clam chowder. Uh, and... On this particular night when we had the steak, we also got the extra prawns on there as well. <laughs> we did. Uh, so you had all this to yourself because I wasn't eating any of it at that point. It was, he was like, try the fillet, try the fillet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, not, not, not for me that night. No, but the, no. The restaurant absolutely is fantastic. The, there's always a question when we, we look at specialty restaurants, so we always try them. But it's, are you really getting that much extra value compared to the main dining room? Because the main yeah. dining room on Cunard were fantastic. The food in Britannia was amazing. But I have to say, without question, this is a step above what you're getting elsewhere on there. Oh, it was fabulous. I'm just, I'm now hungry. Oh, look, we've got a rosé and a rosé. Look, a rosé. We've got... We've got roses as we've well got... here. Oh! But I mean... it... It was so good. If you are debating whether to go on this, I, I am semi-spoiling the review bit that's coming up in a second. Ooh, but baked Alaska was good as well. It was good, wasn't it? I mean, you, you, yeah, you couldn't have a taste that night, but it was very good and I will have some more. When it comes to, is it worth spending money to go to this? Yes. Yeah, I mean, we, we didn't pay for it three times. We did pay for it twice. The second time... We were due to go in there. We were actually booked in the Lido one and they had to cancel it. So yes. they moved us. But it's one of our all time favourite restaurants at sea. We can't wait to go back. We will no. definitely be doing it again. And or whatever we, the we version consider is. this an absolute must do. Yeah. And that's it. End of another video. Thank you for watching, everyone. Cheers, Marky. Cheers, Lindsay. And have a lovely day.